You know what I've just realized? Um, avid uh, viewers, I was about to say listeners, this is not a radio show. A avid viewers will know that I commute on a bike. And it's always been like a, a bit of a, a, a sore spot for me that a lot of the people that also commute on bikes pass me like i'm not out of shape especially since i've started riding my bike up and down everywhere i'm doing all right i go at speed and yet these people with bikes both e-bikes and regular pedal bikes keep passing me and i kept wondering why how are they you know are we not like i know my bike isn't super optimized for speed but this isn't competitive biking how are you you know, going shooting straight past me. And I realized why it is. It's because these fuckers don't stop at stop signs. That's what's, that's the problem. I'm going out there like, you know, I'm on the road. So I'm acting like a vehicle on the road. I'm acting like a car. Meanwhile, they're just like ignoring signs, both pedestrian signs and automobile signs. They just freaking dash through. And this is why I imagine I'm getting honked at all the dang time, because every other driver has lost patience with these absolutely psychopathic bikers around LA. I, I see it now. I understand. Hello. Hello. Oh, whoa, whoa. Everyone's pouring in. Hello. What's going on? We're playing some more Night in the Woods. I don't know if you caught any of that rant. Oh, right. Oh, we don't have a weapon in this one, huh? Dang, I'm early. You, yeah. This is like two. Oh. All right. Are we, I'm not sure if I'm meant to be going this way, but. But I'll take it. I've got hops out here. Oh. A lot of bird imagery in my dreams. I'm not sure exactly what that means the hazy orange circle in the corners oh I see it I see what you mean thank you thank you hello bird is this is this the direction this seems like potentially the dirt oh let me light this while I'm here gotta activate those guys yes sir there's a an eclipse gone. I spooked only some birds. Is this the constellations I was peeping? Sorry, I'm just a little curious. I want to run around and what's going on? Oh, are they building a little? Yeah, I was going to say those are the dust stars that we saw, right? Last night I had a dream where I was hungry but I had to order my food by assembling what I wanted in a video game. And you know how screens work in dreams. Do you know, that's something I was uh, thinking about. Um, let me actually check. I was tweaking, I was messing with the audio volumes. I think this is fine. I turned off the audio volume because I was listening back to the last VOD. And it was a little quiet. Like, you could hear the music in scenes where the music was central, like, like playing bass and that kind of stuff. But other than that, you couldn't really. Ooh, I'm behind this, dude. Oh, I'm missing one. I see it now. Okay, I need to put together the last one of these. How is the new computer? The new computer is wonderful. I love it so much. Like, it's not even a, don't get me wrong, it's not a good computer. It's just a better computer. I don't know if I ever told you, but I plugged my old computers, like... Oh, sorry. Well, I plugged my old computer specs into, like, like one of those benchmark websites. And... It literally said like, oh my god, your computer is already running like 40% better than it should be. And it's still like in the lower 15% of computers we've ever scanned. Please play a Barbie game. I, 
I might. I might. Okay, we got all the instrumentals. Oh! Is this a ledge I can barely see? Well, I'm gonna... Take a leap of face. I'm, I'm assuming we go back down to the middle after this one. Oh yeah, the light's taking me there. This is pretty. Um... Um... Some kind of a... Bear? Pig? Right in the middle of a Barbie YouTube video. Yeah, I could play. I could play a Barbie game. I could play a Barbie game for sure. Barbie game is one of those that I've I've always halfway considered. What if I like speed ran a Barbie game? But speed running anything takes freaking dedication. I don't. I'd need. I'd need to like. This is something I gotta say. Listen, I th I said that, and then the, the second I said it, I regretted it. Ooh, yeah, we can check the computer. And speaking of, yes, okay. I had to mess around. The, the OBS was not recording this, was not capturing this screen for a while, so I had to check what was going on. Morning. I'm working today. Angus is out of town, and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory... How about you? Hey, I got sick from the mall food. It wasn't good mall food. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go say hi to B. I'm gonna go say hi to B. See, like now you're like you have to, and like the thing is, I'd be interested in it, but like speedrunning anything to any degree of competence is is a freaking undertaking. I'm sorry. We talked to Dad about getting stuff out of here yesterday. The hell are you doing, Dad? Anything going on this way? We got the bird. What's up, bird? What are you even thinking about in there? Oh my god, wait. Seeing May just now? Play Weird Autumn? I'll freaking... I'll play Weird Autumn. To start the stream, I'll play Weird Autumn. Could play which song? Weird Autumn. Go get I could play Go Get Dead Angel Face. You said you said you wanted to see that one. It exists. It's here. I can play that. Whoa, no. Never mind. Now we gonna play that one. Too embarrassing. Come on, we could. We could. Okay, it's out of the options now. <laughs> Okay, let's play Weird Autumn. I need to I need to look at the controller real quick. I'm sure there's some kind of achievement for perfecting all of these, but I do not have the patience for this. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, I'm fucking falling apart. Oh my god. 
I'm I'm sorry. You can you can mess up. You can mess up on the last, like, you can mess up in the mashing scenes? That's messed up. That's actually messed up. Well, off we go. Let's go say hi to mom. Hey, mom. Good morning. Did you feel it last night? No? What? The giant bear in my dreams? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth. And on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when one, of one swallows a house or something. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Went to the mall with B. Oh, Fort Lucerne? Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate right now. Freaking ham panther. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, I'll stop by, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm, bye, sweetie. What, what else, Mom? Now that you've been home for a few days, have you thought about getting a j j Well, I gotta go, Mom. Uh, yeah, we should get a job. Mm-hmm-hmm. Mm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. Is that all? That is all. Thank you, Mom, for your cooperation in this investigation. I will love the next band session. Oh, shoot. Oh, it is, it is autumn, isn't it? Hello, lads. What are you doing working here? Haven't you heard there's a sinkhole two streets over? They need you. They need you over there. Go, hurry. Run, don't walk. There's a sinkhole. I have to imagine the whole street fucking knows when I wake up because I start stomping on mailboxes and cars. I like, honey, the neighbor's kid's on the car again. Yeah, she'll get tired eventually. It's okay. Oh, okay. By the way, so seeing May just now, I was I was gonna talk uh, about this before before the little jam sesh we had, the little catastrophe jam sesh. So yesterday, the weirdest thing happened to me. I thought I was legit having a stroke when it happened because it was that weird. We have this lady that comes by the lab every day around like end of day, right? She comes by. 4 30 p.m. or so and she just takes all the trash out of the trash bin and puts it into like a big collection bin that she goes and just she just takes out the trash basically and she's this old like 60 something rugged looking hispanic woman and i was just finishing up some experiment she walks into the same room i'm using I'm just chilling there, listening to my podcast. She empties the trash bin, starts walking away, and then stops and looks at me. And I turn to her, and then she meowed. She went, Meow. and I thought I was going crazy. So, I, like, I pause my podcast. I look at her. My eyes were freaking wide as hell. I'm like, what the hell just happened? And then she doubled down. Then she went Meow. again and just left like nothing happened. I thought I was going fucking crazy, man. Because I, I know she speaks. I've heard her speak in Spanish, does like some of our staff, right? So I know how she speaks. And she did a good cat impersonation. Like, I thought there was an actual cat in the room. <laughs> the first time I thought she smuggled, she, she smuggled a cat in the room. That's how good it was. <laughs> I'd do that for real. I would not. Think about the poor little lab assistant you're you're terrifying with that. May Borowski. Selmers. Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Okay. Of the Sylvan family of products. Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Are you giving that pitch to everyone? <laughs> Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom. And to Abby Krangler. 
Mrs. Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I run into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time Greg got locked inside one of the tumble dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? Hell yeah. Sometimes I think. That would be my poem. Sometimes I think. Period. That's the end. I love how everyone's sitting outside in the rain. It's like, you know, they've got their routines and come rain or snow, they're going to be out there. And start to sink. Oh no. There's more. Sorry. Then I remember it's September. <laughs> October? I combined my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Days are going to start getting shorter soon. It makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. I seen a raccoon. Is it the rabid raccoon that freaking what's his name? Germ Warfare? Or whatever his name is. Saw? Where? Up in Towny Sentry. He's a big one. Cool. Very cool, Selmers. I read a book for school recently. It was a freaky as hell. There were two scenes that sounded exactly like me talking to someone. There was a guy who made poetry that sounded exactly like Selmers. Germ is a bird. Yeah, no, but Germ said he saw... I don't know if it was a raccoon or a possum. It was like, I saw a rabid raccoon, possum, something. And we we're like, oh, have, had it been hit by a car? No. Oh, cool. Just, just rabid? Yeah. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. I remember that. My cat don't like folks on the porch. I'm a cat. So, I like folks on the porch. Now the vote is split. What are you going to do? Well, I got hops, baby. A possum. He did see a possum. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. See, I don't... Like, we don't have uh, possums uh, in Europe. I think possums are exclusively in the US and Australia, I want to say. I th I'm pretty sure. See, I just leave my laundry out on rainy days. It's like a cheap wash. Wow, really? Yeah. Uh, possums are exclusively US and Australia, as far as I know. Might be wrong, but as far as I know, that's true. Uh, and possums in Australia look very different from the from the ones in the US. The ones in the US look like little trash goblins. And the ones in Australia look pretty dang cute. Are you the big raccoon that he saw? Because that's a little fucked up, if true. Um, should we go in here? See what's going on? Mayhaps steal, uh... A pretzel for me, me red babels. You have a possum skull. I'm gonna be honest. That kind of that I'm not. As as are you offended if I say I'm not surprised? No. Getting the hang of this. Damn right we're getting the hang of this. One pretzel is enough for my tiny rat darlings. Until they start breeding. Yeah. Oh, are the teenagers here? Did you guys do this? Rainy day, huh? But not down here. You kids have your own little secret hideout down here, huh? Whatever. When I was a kid, literally nobody cares. Well, whatever. Okay, then. You're really re gonna regret this attitude about five years down the line. Trust me. It, life's a lot more fun when you enjoy it. Life's a lot more fun when you let yourself enjoy it. What's, uh, what's, what's the deal with you? It's wet and I'm cold. The smelters wouldn't say that. Hell no, smelters play in any weather. Come rain or come shine, it's always smelter weather. So true, bestie. Video outpost. Oh, let me go say hi to Angus. 
the boxes are gone. I will go. Oh, I guess not here. Heartbreak, huh? Music. Heartbreak and music. One and the same. Am I right, fellas? I wouldn't know. I don't listen to music. <laughs> oh. It looks so sad and empty when we're not playing in it. Oh, this is where you play? That's kind of fun. I'm gonna go say hi to... I'm gonna go say hi to B. I mean, I've, I imagine this does not constitute a hangout. We're just, we're just going. Yeah, yeah, I, I know the boxes you're talking about. I'm just doing the rounds. Hey, BB. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a load of rock salt to move. Came in early this year. And like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually a distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Want to hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you want to, like, come along. I was thinking we'd go play putt putt out in Hunwick. May, that's actually not a bad idea, but sorry, got work. Aw, oh, jeez, what is even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So do you want to come along or not? Yeah, let's hang out. Oh, right now? Wait, oh my god, that... I... I did not know that was now. I didn't know you could you could just hang out like that. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, uh that's just that you just had a we just had a short day. <laughs> nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally at least. You coming? There's a thing back here by the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her Oh, I thought the thing was the old lady. That's a little messed up, B. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back up here before. May Borowski, you have now been here. It's nice. Oh, I'm not moving. I'm not doing nothing. It is nice. I have a lot of little things buzzing around me, and uh, B has none. And I'm not sure if that's because I stink or because I'm cool. Probably both. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins, people. Old cabins people turn into houses. Some hunting camps. So don't like get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient for murder. It ain't murder if it's animals. That's dark. Hold that thought. You gotta knock. We go in. Ugh, I contemplated doing an old lady voice. I'm not gonna do that. That would be very grating. Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a four alarm fire, but that furnace, we'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh-huh. And like I didn't treat him right, I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, crime was definitely committed, all right. They just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore, and that's what it was. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. I'll take a look at my fridge while you're here. We will bill by, we bill by the half hour. You shouldn't leave the TV static on, but that's kind of fun, I guess. Good job. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just a classic, an original Luna Freeze. Wow. Do you know, actually, my washer and my dryer are made by a company that used to... Like, well, that's, no, that used to. That makes fridges. Exclusively fridges. I think my, my washer and dryer are made by, like, Frigidaire or some shit. And they they had like a short stint making washers and dryers and they stopped. Which means if this stuff ever stops working, we just need to get a brand new one because there's no parts anywhere. <laughs> they were all the rage when I was your age. They last forever. They make me feel so young. I saw one of these the other night when I got back into town. Oh, really? Where? 
Upside down under some logs in a creek in a ravine. Yeah, we did see that. So, furnace. Oh, yes, right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, mate. Are we... Oh, we're about to be locked in the basement, aren't we? Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Uh, he called me from your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It's nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. May is little. Oh, a baseball bat. I love creepy basements. Why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. Gee, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. Eh. Alright, let's get this done so we can go home. Baseball bat. Give me the baseball bat and I kill B down here. I, I, let, I let the inner thoughts win. Fish, fish, fish. Wait, but I can't take it. Isn't it illegal to smoke indoors? It is. Well, 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 be the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I chew on this thing. What? Not notice no smoke coming out? No smoke at all? But like, I've seen you smoke. Yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Where did you think the smoke was going? You thought you were swallowing it? Oh my god, that's fucked up. Man, do you know how smoking works? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a smoking scientist, Beatrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? Sorry, I didn't get a degree in cigarettology. What even was your major in college? Kicking ass and getting rad? So that's the furnace? <laughs> yeah, that's the furnace. <laughs> I've decided his name is Clanky. He's got a little face! Look, with the two little- Oh, that's actually so cute. Okay. You just hang out. I'm gonna go fix this right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I gonna break? This is a basement full of crap. Oh, jeez. Okay. Shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here, then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Now, this is, this is a little messed up because, like, you know, we were... We were out here going to college learning nothing, and B learned a craft. While we were gone. Jeez, this is one old ass fan. It's made of metal, it could ch you could chop your finger off. Intrusive thoughts, intrusive thoughts. Mmm, badminton. 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 Racket. That's the one. That's what it do. No? Nothing here? Oh, wait, wait. Ah, my old nemesis, Professor Lucius Bronomio. May does have a cheer for life. That's kind of good. Bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who even would have this much junk? Okay. Yeah, okay, I can see this being useful. Let's just take everything. I can see this being useful in furnace fixing. How about you? This looks useful, this looks useful. Can I take the gnome? I need your expertise to fix this stupid furnace, professor. Alright, let's go put together a massive machiney contraption. Fix this goddamn thing. Alright, so I can't carry anything else. So I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. Oh, May, are you about to fuck up? So, got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton racket, and a fan. Got two wheels and a turny thing with no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thing. Don't touch anything to open up the heat pipes. To turn up the fire. Clanky's probably got a tiny fire going and could use some help. We've all been there. Poor Clanky. They get Clanky all hot and bothered. We will teach Clanky to love. I bet I could... Hmm. Could bite onto the turny thing where the wheel was. Could use racket as a handle. I think Nomi could bite onto the turny thing. Okay, yeah, that's the stuff. Probably could, like, pull him? But we're not always gonna be here to pull him. But we're- yeah, we're not always gonna be here to pull him. Fan could stay on, and if this breaks, you only have to replace the fan. 
Should be good for the environment too, that's important. Like the turbines on the mountain by Fort Lucene. God, I remember when everyone was so mad about that. It's gonna ruin the view, it's gonna kill birds. You know what else is gonna ruin the view of birds? When a meteor hits the earth because it gets too hot. That's what happened to the dinosaurs. Okay, where was I? Dinosaurs were effing rad. Yeah, dinosaurs were effing rad is where I was. They had dinosaurs in the ocean too. Darn tootin' they did. Glad I wasn't a fish back then. Did they have fish? They did. Were they like dinosaur fish? No. Fish or fish? Yeah, I mean, no, fish or fish? Fish were probably like, oh man, what the hell? I can't believe future fish don't have to deal with this BS. Sharks I get a load of piranha. Nessie with rabies over here. Well, sharks were probably around. Sharks have been around pretty much the same since forever. Documentary guy is all like, Millions of years ago, the seas were full of piranha rabies Nessies. Okay, focus, May. Making a turbine. So there isn't a lot of wind down here, but like, you can put the fan on Nomi's butt, and that would make it spin. Rack it for the other fin part, tie it all together with a fishing line, and wow. I should, like, start a company. Sustainable garbage turbine. Okay, done. What? I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did. We? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution. God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Just like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Don't, don't even get a plastic plant, May. That's what we're talking about. They did not have dinosaurs in the ocean? No, they did, right? Or was it something that, like, it's not technically called a dinosaur? But there's definitely those dinosaurs with the fins and everything. I know this. I saw, we all, we all saw the little books with the images. They wouldn't lie to us. It was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check the exit. Are we locked in? Wait here. I'm gonna wait here. Damn it. She locked us in. Well, we're locked in. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid bee. See if you can yell. We can cut a hole in the floor. No, see if you can yell. We gotta be serious. It's not gonna work. Mrs. Miranda! It didn't work. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like, figure this out. I'll look around, too. Yeah, you go look around a whole bunch. Listen, I'm not good at fixing shit, but if you want me to, like, break down this door for you, I got a lot of repressed feelings about stuff. Hmm. The one thing she could hear is this furnace when it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Yeah, let's not... Let's talk to B about this, maybe. Before we start breaking shit. You ever... You ever considered bringing other people into your destructive plans? Hmm. Well, it's the one tool I do know how to use. A tool for beating ass. Damn right. Start beating up on B at the top of the stairs. Why? I don't want to beat it up too much. See, May, I don't think like I'm doing it because this is a video game and it's the only way forward but may I really don't think you should be doing this I don't feel like this is productive also if she could hear the furnace she can hear this man this is rattling the oh ah <laughs> suck it you piece of crap furnace Wow, that is pretty loud. Yeah, jeez. Surprised I can't hear that back in town. Okay, cool, she's coming. Thank God. Uh, thank me, more like? Hey, Mrs. Miranda, you locked us in. Oh, that was fun. Uh-huh. 
had to refix the furnace or she gave us lemonade yeah you know I like lemonade it's such a nice night out lovely then what's up nothing just tired worked all day I'm all hyper good for you Ugh, you're zero fun yep you need like some magical shit to like give you a new perspective let me know when that happens wouldn't want to miss it are we gonna do some magical shit to give a new perspective let's go do a magical shit to give her new perspective oh am i gonna go collect all of these oh yes please i'm getting i'm getting the gang back together baby Oh, baby. Alright, that's everything this side. Is there more magical shit? I think this is all the magical shit. Wow. <laughs> Are you like a firefly whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, Mayborowski. No, Mrs. Miranda's an interesting person. Yeah, she is. I feel like mummified a dude. Okay, you're a more benign interesting. Woohoo! You know? I would have to say this would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. Along for the ride? I believe I worked pretty hard down there. I should get a cut of the bill. Not a chance. You're an unpaid intern. Fight you for it, right here and now. You should, like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Uh, Dr. Hank said way back, I need to repress it. Repress? Not, like, learn to deal with it? He, speci he specifically said repress. Uh, okay. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. So do you think Mrs. Miranda, like, pulled her husband guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, am I? Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? Nope. It probably took a lot of heart. Yep. A lot of liver. Yeah, I was gonna say. A lot of different organs, too. Explain it to us. I get it, May. She really wrecked them. Okay, that probably stayed in place. Yeah, that should stay where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta liver your life. Bye, this is me gone. Hey, wait up. You're walking back to town. You've got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Dr. Hank sounds like a really good doctor. He does, doesn't he? I realized, by the way, the little options, is for, it's a little pamphlet from Dr. Hank. Because I was tweaking with the options earlier, and I was like, wait, I've seen Dr. Hank before. Working, yeah. Hello. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory, is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck, fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What are you tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like it's did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh, you kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. Okay, yes, point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Mm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Garbo and Mallory is starting. Oh yeah. Let's watch some Garbo and Mallory. M Malloy. Never mind. Garbo and Malloy. Ah yes. You know we like to get political here. Gotta do it. Gotta. You hear about this new law on the books? Pirating a movie online? You know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in, pre in prison. Wow. And you've been trying to get it, get in the hard way. 
He has, folks. Wonder if pirating a movie about first-degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny. Hey, Mallow, you know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a wapa. God. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. Fantastic. Garbo and Malloy, a true staple of American TV. Well, that was a day practically wasted. I I stole a pretzel and didn't even use it, man. This is this is kind of messed up. What's the chat like? Hey, Punk, what you do tonight? Got trapped in a basement. Beat up a furnace. Right on, man. Night-night. Hey, that was fun. Let's do that again sometime. You're pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. You can actually get a job doing that. Holy shit, I found my calling. I'm glad I could help facilitate this. Uh, so I looked up people who attract insects. Please to come down to a lot of heat and various odors. It can't get enough of this. I guess not. Good night, May. Night. See? Did you do the light bulbs? The light bulbs? What do you mean, the light bulbs? There's no light bulbs nowhere. There's no, there's no light. Bulbs or not. Do the light bulbs next time. Uh, yes, sir. -y. Let's get in bed. Bedtime? Yeah. Well, tomorrow we will have a full day. I did not realize you could s skip a whole day and go hang out immediately. Oh, another, another wacky dream. Oh no. Can I jump on this? I can't, okay. Get the check, get the check. Lot of broken wheels. Oh, it's like a little window. Okay, it's very hard to see. Everything's very dark. Oh. Whoa. Oh, there you are. Something up up this away? I guess a little something. Hello. Okay, I'm back where I was. Wow, that's a friggin' jump. Hmm. No, I know, I'm following I'm following the glowing orb, but I'm also just kinda having a bit of fun and exploring and such. Probably need to go up, huh? Yeah, there was a little wire there for that. Yep, that away. Oh, drop down here. Whoa, careful. Hello. The accordion sounds like a kind of a fun instrument to know how to play. Do I need to go? Oh, there's a further down. This way, is there? Yes, there is. Okay, good. There we go. This is the other path. The cave disappears. You talking about Plato's cave, you little shit? Splash. Oh my god, maybe I am god.
Now I need to go back, do I? To the place where all those four, four little things were. I need to go up. Uh, it's so dark. It's, I suppose, you know, what did I expect with the game that has night in the, in the name of it, but... But god dang, it is uh, dark. Okay, yeah, I can make it up there jumping on this stuff. I think. Might have just gone the very long way around for this, but yeah, can go up here. There we go. Hold low, up, and then up some more. I like, I really like this. This is a very jaunty tune. It's very fun. Hello? Is this not where I... There we go. Back here. Oh god. Squirrel? May, what the hell kind of dreams are you having? What the hell is the significance of this? What's going what's going on? Are you the avatar? I think May's the avatar. I don't wanna freak you guys out or anything. Okay, today I will not hang out until I've done a full days of stuff. Hey, boyo. I work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon, more like it. Hey, got a call from Mrs. Miranda. Apparently she's upset that we messed up her basement. Whatever, she didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day, just saying, if you want to say hello. I'm here to be helloed at. B is trying to not be obvious about it, but she's like back to being besties now. Back to being absolute besties. Also, oh my god, look at that! Look at this. I'm sorry, but dad's jeans did not stand a fucking chance. You see in this? I look exactly like mom. Like dad might as well not have been in the picture. Look at this. Hello, bird. I wondered if you can learn to talk to birds. Um, there are people out in the street that are birds. I think it's the glasses. Yeah, it's probably the glasses. Well, he's not gonna have cleaned it out, but I'm gonna check. Yep. Hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. Bless this mess. So true. Hello, mom. Ugh, morning. Long night? Yeah, I went to work with B. Oh, are you gonna work there? No, mom, I was just tagging along. Though I was, like, really useful. Mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, I've just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. What are you doing? Stuff. Haha, Jonathan, you're fucking my daughter. Just like budget bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. I love numbers, man. I'm sorry to say. Catch me out here making Excel spreadsheets for fun. That's literally, you know how like, you know how like as a kid, you would go on Microsoft Paint and you would just draw squiggles and then take the fill bucket and then like fill them in at random with different colors. Uh, which, I, that's kind of, I guess, the aesthetic I've got going on with the channel icon and banner and everything. I, that, I did that with, like, spreadsheets. I would get into, like, a spreadsheet, I would put in random numbers, and I'd start doing, like, weird formulas and trying to do stuff. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. 
Mom doesn't seem like she's having a good day today. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Yep, numbers, numbers, numbers. Wow, nerd. Wow. What the hell? Yeah, you gonna treat me like that in my own stream? In my own house? Okay. Let's go behave. Lots of pumpkins. Is that pumpkin eating a thing? Damn. Nerd alert. Alright, alright. That's enough out of you. Totally what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head. Not bleeding on your seat in junior high. Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself. Not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom. During your first kiss? Oh, wait. So, was the guy I put in prom... I In prom. In the hospital. That one guy we saw. My ex-boyfriend or whatever. Um. I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies. We used to eat in grade school. Alright. Yeah, those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Wanna hear a new poem? Hell yeah. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. These are all I like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks and the blue clear squeezer. Blue clear? I think Mr. Shakazov's up there again. Sh Sh Shazakov. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right on the stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my, black, my back window. Seen a fire up by there the other night. Wonder who was up there. The tower? I don't know. What's up with you? You still hate me? Are we friends now? You're gonna make my dog anxious and she poops a lot when she's anxious. Oh, man. Yep. Alright, let's go watch some stars with this man. I just... Oh! That's a new girl down there. I'll go say hi in a second. Why? Yeah. 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 No. Oh. Yeah. That's not the right roof. Let's do it again. But better. Once more with feeling. Can I? Oh, yeah. Speedrun strats, by the way. Uh, never mind. Speedrun. Uh, never mind. Uh, speedrun? There. No. <laughs> What the hell is going on now? There. Yeah. I'm actually ass at this game. Sorry. <laughs> you know this this story focused game where you don't even that like the platform's not even that hard. Platforming's just there for fun. Yeah, I suck at it. Sorry. Hello, Mayborowski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. Come to hunt some dust stars. Definitely. Come have a look. Let's do it. My eyes. Filter. Once again. That's really not healthy. That's actually kind of a real problem. Don't do that. Is this you? This is you. Found one, found one, found one. Let's have a look. Uh, B throwing up. Sterling the Seer. Never mind. How come I never heard of these guys? Uh, by the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the, wor of the world changing and leaving one behind. Was he not psychic? Who can say? Do we believe any tale occurred? Hmm. Either way, one day his king met a new sage, an astronomer. And she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Yeah, that sounds fair. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even once universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? No. What is it? What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. The stars, they make one think. 
Oh, and the other ones are still here. That's cute. Oh, oh, oh. A little rumble. A little rumble. We're, get We're getting close. There we are. Boom. Found one. Let's see. Oh. Ah, yes. Simone the fighter. She's got a gun. Some Simone lived in a good land. But under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land, those roots took hold... It choked out all else. Jeez. It happens faster than one can imagine. Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as, they, as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. That was she? We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, God damn it! I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace -like gates, and behind those gates were cannons. Oh no! Many years later, when the when the mass graves were exhumed. Her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on in the bones of all in her country. Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky, but kind of poetic. That's both of them for today. That's all, all of them out there. Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. We will. Bandit Queens of the Fort Lucan Mall. Yeah. Well, let's... Uh, I guess we can do it out this way. We need to drop and talk to that bunny girl. She's new. I ain't seen you around these parts before, girl. Hello? Oh, I can't talk to you? That's fucked up. That's actually fucked up. Well... Let's see. Oh, you're fishing again. Hello. Life long gone. Kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Oh, God, please don't listen. Why are you singing little poetry to yourself? Pretzel is enough for my tiny rat darlings. Oh, I don't have to steal one because I didn't use the one from yesterday. Because I messed up. Hell hey. Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here, but it's in my bones wherever I go, so no harm. You want to talk about Granddad? Oh yes, where was I? Something about the tide rolling out? Troublemakers in my family? I think it was the troublemakers. Right. Back then, there were places that brought us all together. Or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The Old Smokies, the Grand Bears, the Lodge of Old, the Church and the Union. There'd be dances up at the... HB. That's where I met your granddad. Oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects. Prone to fits of melancholy, but funny and wild when the occasion called. Surprising is, I guess, the word. Hmm. What'd your daddy say about him? Strict but nice? Distant but trying? I think strict but nice. Eh. <laughs> strict is funny. Why? That's all we're getting today, huh? You alright, Miss Rosa? Oh, yes. Let's talk another time. Hope you feel better. Oh, May. Oh, dear May. She's never gonna feel better. Getting old is feeling slightly worse until... I'm not gonna finish that thought. That's gonna get depressing. That's gonna get depressing fast, man. We're not gonna finish that one. We're all immortal. Never gonna die. Yoo-hoo. This is an unrelated thought, although I guess not entirely unrelated. You're new. Um, but I've figured out recently that by being an Amazon Prime member, you get free access to, like, premium Grubhub. That shit's not gonna be good for me, man. I can already tell. I can already tell that's not gonna be good for me. Hey, CJ? Yeah? You were, like, in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, huh. 
Did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. Uh, nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role-playing stuff. Hell yeah. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer? Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. What's the best way to rob a bank? What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, let's first figure out how to rob a bank. And then we'll figure out, you know, let's take things step by step. I feel like, you know... You rob the bank, then you end up in jail, then you get out of jail. So let's first figure out best way to rob a bank. That's not really legal advice. Legal is like laws, right? Uh, and bank robbery is a crime, right? And crimes are against the law? It's all related. You guys just, you know, banded mask and a gun? Uh, it's been done. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. But it's the point of like going to college, you don't learn useful stuff. <laughs> well, shouldn't you know? You were in college until recently. Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. Oh, May. Oh, May. Let's get in here. You know what? I agree with her. Hell yeah. Oh, Angus is here today. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath. Black Oaks. Black Oaks. Oh, nice. Witchy. Yeah, it's witchy as hell. And scary. Yeah, that one's like historical. The witchy version. Well, see you later. Bye. Bye, Angus. I feel like if these were a horoscope, I'm Angus. And that's that. Okay, let's go do everything, and then we'll hang out with B again. I'm so biased. I only want to hang out with B. I'm not going to talk to B just yet, because last time that trapped me. She got me good, man. She got me good with that one. Fat pocket pawn. And, oh, we can go up to the church. We haven't seen this. Your, your college didn't teach you how to rob a bank. Well, I should hope not. Oh, the church. I can go in the church? I can jump in the in the minister's car? In open defiance of God, I jump on the minister's car? Also, what's going on here? Oh! What's the deal with you? Pastor K.W. Young. All are welcome. Bingo! 7 p.m. Tuesday. Hell yeah. There's more stuff past here? How far does this go? Well, we're exploring. Oh. Oh, the water tower. This is where th there was a fire, presumably? I always wanted to climb the water tower. But then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see clear to brittle from there. Where that one girl that married that one guy lives. Oh, the hell are you? Hello, I'm May Borowski. Hey, I'm Bruce. I don't say much. That's fine. I talk a lot. But I can, like, not. Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Weird noises. I just kept to myself. And they went away. Where? Right over there. Past the water tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange voices ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll be back. Hope not. Well, let's hope not. Also, do I jump off of this? I don't know that I should. Oh, I can't. I physically can't. Somehow, that, you know, I'm gonna say that's good. I'm gonna say that's a good thing. Oh, Possum Springs Water Tower. Holy bingo. Holy bingo is like you start racking up like uh, sins and uh, what's the opposite of sins? There's like like there's like the cardinal sins 
And virtues! That's the other one. You start racking up sins and virtues, like he just starts spitting them out. And you just hope you get to all the virtues before you get to all the sins. Oh, let's go in the church, yeah. Virtues, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello. Hey, mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town. We have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh wow! I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, hon. I'm not, honey. I really do need to concentrate. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna sneak in. Can I not? I want to go, I want to go to the forbidden books. I want to learn the forbidden texts. I can't. It's not allowed. What's going on in here? Town council? Oh, yep. Love. Peace. He's very nice. Yeah, and he can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library? With all the books? He's not gonna eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together on this. I'll be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. I'm sorry, what do you have that you are putting in a basement or library? Hello, hello. You're Candy's daughter, right? My mom's named Candy? God damn. Kate, but most people call me Pastor K. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh, new to me at least. Hello. 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 Do me a favor. Take that last hello and give it to Bruce. Oh yeah, I met that guy. Oh good. Bruce is new to our community. Looks like he's been in the woods a while. Only a few weeks, but being in the woods isn't really the same as being in the community. True. Is he cold at night? Uh, working on it. Nice things. Okay, weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours. And it was cozy. So I could take a nap guilt-free. You feel guilty about naps? I feel like if you're in religion, you feel guilty about everything. Wish I didn't. Hey, listen. You know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job description. Okay. Can I, can I talk to you now? Pretty sure I'm a little messed up. Oh, I can't jump on this. Sad. Curious if Jesus would be human in this universe or he would be an animal. That'd be a little fucked up if he was human. The way literally everyone else is an animal. There's no humans as far as I've seen. Wouldn't that be kind of weird? If their god looked nothing at all like any of them. But also, I guess, then you get into the issue of, like, you know, if he's an animal, which one? And wouldn't those animals get a mighty sense of superiority over the rest of them? Because Jesus was like them? Oh, man. Also, what's this about? I think these are supposed to be weather stations? Pioneer scouts made them when they were in playing football. Or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. They sure are. Let's go up. You again. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Do you wanna come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. Uh, geez, let me answer before you said I said no. Okay, did you want to go? Actually, I can't. Oh, okay. It's fine, it's fine. It'd be really boring anyway. Oh man, I didn't mean to make you sad. I'm just busy today is all. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. See you later. See ya? Can I hang out with him? Like, I... I'm not exactly sure how advisable that is i'm not sure this does anything for my progression also once again i am on top of the world 
I'm the most powerful thing. I see no god up here except for me. Let's go in. Let's uh, go. Hello, my beloved rats. I like my <laughs> all right, my little miracle rats. There's more. Time to eat. Oh no, there's more. Come on. Shoo, 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 shoo. Ah, almost. There you are. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. More today? I guess I can go try and steal a pretzel. I guess I can go try and steal a pretzel. Also, May, if you want to feed these rats so bad. How much there is to this game? Might play through it myself. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Feel free to. I feel a little bad because I feel like this is a very story heavy game. So your experience probably will not be that much different from what you're seeing here. Okay, let's get in here. See if I'm allowed to steal more pretzel. Are all fed. Mama don't need to steal today. Yeah, you could also just like get a job. You ever think about that? Like you could, if you want to feed these rats so bad, do it through legal means, through the sweat of your own brow, etc, etc. Harvest this again. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this Casey Hartley. Raccoon! This is the fat raccoon. That guy saw. Hell yeah. That is a fat raccoon. I'm in like I'm a bit of I'm in a bit of a hyper mood today. I don't know what happened. I'm a little excited. Alright. Did I already talk to you? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, because I talked to you. I need to see what they're talking about up there. Sunny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, uh, go smelters, right? Yeah, go smelters. Oh, what's going on? You okay? Oh, I can jump on this now. Okay, I see. I see what the dealio is. I see what's up. Is there anything I... Oh, I can get on top of the diner. Can I do it with like one jump from here? Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of tight. But I can land directly on that and then go from there. Uh, Yeah, I'm doing the snack, the snack falcon right now. I need to really focus to say Falcon properly. Alright. Oh, I did it. I was on it. I just need to stop, like, earlier. Okay, we're on it. We're on it. We're doing it. We're making it happen. Yeah, I fed the rats. I didn't need to steal a pretzel because I still had the one from yesterday. <laughs> There we go. Hey, another one of them. Okay. Nothing much over here. Oh, uh, I can make it spin. Oh, it went a little crazy. Hello? Yo, yeah. Now, there's another one of these around town somewhere. Um, I have to go and activate that too. These are little, like, weather stations, so I imagine they're gonna be freaking the fuck out. Windmills killing birds. 
I'm gonna go say uh, hi to my guy. I, I'm a little worried he's getting a little depressed though. Because I'm hanging out with B a lot and not at all with him. Hey, hey, hey! Hi! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what's up with you? I wanna do something! Okay, wow. You drink like all the coffee? I can't have coffee, it makes me anxious. Oh wow, that sucks. And it tastes gross. None of it's mostly milk and sugar. Seems like a lot of hassle to make something gross taste okay. Good point. So dude, dude, dude. You wanna do something, something, something? Uh, can't today. Yeah, man, let's go. Uh, let's go can't today right now. And also, like, I just... Black coffee isn't that bad. Uh, no, it's actually... I don't really... I don't drink coffee. Uh, I never... I never got into it. And at this point, coffee's like my little secret weapon. If I ever need to, like, pull an all-nighter or something, I... I drink it. Otherwise, we good. Have I seen the church? Yeah, I have been to the church. Yes, sirree. I want to kind of, like, go the other way now that I can be up here. Drugs and malt. Oh, there's a dude reading his newspaper. Oh! Little thing. What is it? Now here's a man who loves statues. Don't get a lot of people getting statues made of themselves today. We're secure in ourselves, okay? We don't need statues to make us feel better. All the way to the right of the outside of the church. Yeah, I talked to that one guy. Uh, if I got a statue, I'd have them make me real tall. Well, I thought, <laughs> I thought you were all secure in yourself. What happened to that? All right, let's go give that dude with the newspaper a little scare. Hey, what are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Quantrax closing down next month, laying off at least 24 people. What's that? Place out past Brittle. Assembles tiny computer doodads. Oh, okay, yeah. Someone in news mom worked there. Real small work. Bad on the fingers after a while. I bagged groceries for a while. How's that? You put the cold heavy stuff on the bottom. And then the veggies and fruit. And the bread on top. But well, looks like you got it all figured out. I sure do, sir. All the way to the right past Bruce. Uh, there's a cliff past Bruce. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't really go there, I guess. Bruce was like all the way at the cliff. So I, you know, and I tried going beyond. There should be something on the cliff. Uh, there was not that I could see. I mean, I guess we're here. We can go check it out. But like the, there was just Bruce on the cliff. It might be something that shows up after a couple days or it might have been there yesterday and I missed it. Oh, oh. who knows? But yeah, we can we can go check it out. But yeah, Bruce was all the way at the edge of the cliff, and that was it. Yeah. Cliff, Bruce, and the Call of the Void. There was nothing else. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. It's okay. They can't all be winners. While we're walking back, what should I have for dinner today? I'm kind of hungry. I didn't really have lunch. I, all I've had so far today is three little wedges of cheese, a hot chocolate, and a muffin. So uh, my options are anywhere from a horse uh, beyond. <laughs> I'm hungry. We start at horse and we keep going is basically where I'm at. 
All right, let's let's go say hi to B. Empanadas. Oh, that sounds good. Hello. Hey, dude. Hello. I was working here going. Uh, I don't know. At pace. If you don't like it, I can take your job. I, like, refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hi. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid harvest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm, like, super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of, like, three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. <laughs> oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also, no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin, using materials and tools from this store, and bury me anywhere else. Die anywhere else? Much like our hit song? That got intense. Uh, anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? Uh, yeah, let's hang out. I'm fully ignoring Greg. Hi, B. Hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. German's helping me move stuff for under the table cash. Well, I'm not gonna have to work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. Alright then. He's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is. Germ truly is like something out of a children's book. I got an achievement from this? This place killed the food donkey. The ham panther? Yeah, kinda. Food! You know, no one who works here had anything to do with it. For real. Donkey! <laughs> donkey. You sure showed them ham panther corporate who's boss? Actually... Do you know where center is on the Ham Panther board or something? You know you're zero fun, right? I do know that, yes. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were going to hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. So it really seems like after B's mom died, her dad's just been doing nothing and B's had to do everything... Her mom used to do everything her dad used to do. Run the shop. And like, everything's going on her now, huh? <laughs> Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need, like, a main course and two sides? What counts as a main course? We can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you hang out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Also, how are you sensitive to broccoli? No shoplifting this time. Aw. I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place is cameras. Good point. Bakey shaky? Oh, I've got... I've got a freaking list. No. Cool sides. Cream of chicken. Mac and cheese. Okay, well, mac and cheese. Got all mac and cheese. Yes. Mm, boy, delicious. What the hell is cream of chicken, man? Tash? What the hell are you? You look like hairspray. Is this cream of chicken? Cream of chicken soup. Yes. Yes? Yes. Anything out the back? 
So I've got cream of chicken, I've got mac and cheese. Biscuits. What the hell is biscuits? No. Quick skits? Uh, that's that's quick skits, I guess, is biscuits? Cream of chicken. I know. Like, they took a chicken and they creamed it. Like, you know, that sounds like what, uh, like, like, McDonald's nuggets are made of. Cream of chicken. <laughs> Sounds like, uh, yeah, quick squits, quick, quick skits, biscuits, yes. Ooh la la, we are eating horribly tonight, I'm so sorry, B. So I've got everything at this point, cream of chicken, mac and cheese, biscuits, and then chicken from deli. My dad works at the deli, we could go there for the meats. Okay. Oh, okay, you're coming with, huh? Run, 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 run. Hello, Dad. Oh, hi there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, B, a long time no see. How are you, Mr. Browski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. I have to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes. Best fishes, not best bitches. I mean, I guess also it does pay. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Like it's his job to say hello to people? Yep, call the greeter. I know I recognize them from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? All right. What can I get for you ladies? Ground beef? No. Best fishes? No. Pork chops? No. Chicken. What do you mean get B for the deli? B? I'm not getting B. I could do beef. But you said chicken, right? Yeah. Oh, you mean get B to like take her there. Holy, I was like, get B. Like, we're not eating her. Can't go wrong there. Mm, do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yes. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. Uh, the Ham Panther? At home, eh? A girl is up something nice. You can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah. Alright, like, okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. Alright, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, ladies, let's see what y'all, what all you got. Mm -hmm, mm hmm yes, okay. Looks like a great dinner you got planned. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. Chop me up an arm, Mr. Butcher. You think that's how that arm ended on the side of the road? Just like someone went to the deli, it was like, hi, I'd like, I'd like arm for dinner, and then they dropped it. That was fun. Yep, groceries really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Woohoo. <laughs> so much passion. You know what's so messed up? Those little, like, paper bags y'all use here. We don't use those in Europe. Dinner time. Hey, this is pretty good. Yeah, this is, like, alarmingly good. Thanks. My grandma used to make chicken, chicken biscuits back on the farm. Great grandma had a farm? I thought they had a shoe shop. Ah, details. She, she should pick up our meals every night. Now, Dad, we die some sort of sugar shock. Not true. I know how to cook rice and hamburger casserole. I also know how to scramble eggs and cook those biscuits from a tube. <laughs> I also do burgers and tacos and pizza. Well, then we just die of that. Worst ways. I can do a salad. Hallelujah. Uh, May, you're all right. <laughs> It's definitely turned out better than whatever it is you made in that basement last night. What? Nothing. Thanks, I'm pretty great. So yeah, we're all paid out till the 15th next month. Alright. 
a rock salt sorted? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Uh, okay, I need you to send you some things. Left them on the bar. I think I might just get to them. Please do, we have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but... I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Yeah, but it sounds like you're not doing anything. Smelter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yeah, it sounds like Dad is not doing shit since Mom died. Let me talk to you. Smelters, huh? You a fan? I like hockey. Hockey? Psh. What's not to like about hockey? Bunch of men prancing around on ice skates. I'm beating the living crap out of each other. Eh, I can't get excited about a puck. Okay, actually, I've seen hockey on TV. You cannot see the puck. I'm sorry to say. Watching hockey is... Is like watching a lava lamp. There's just stuff moving up and down. And activity is somewhere. But there's like, there's, you know, they just, there's, there's, you cannot see the puck anywhere. There's just the mass of dudes moving up or moving down. And then suddenly you hear a ping and a pang and there's a score. Like, <laughs> that's, as, that's as far as my understanding and appreciation of hockey goes. To be fair. I have the same, I have the same problem with uh, football, American football, because the plays are so slow. I've been to a couple of games, especially like college games, uh, back from when, when I was in college. I've been to watch a couple of them, and first of all, I'm always looking in the wrong place. You know, like, I'm always looking here or looking there, and then suddenly they're like, Oh, everyone in the stadium goes absolutely wild. I didn't, I wasn't even looking in the correct quadrant of the field, and then suddenly, like, boom, you know, something has happened. And also, it takes, like, five minutes to set up each time for, like, 20 seconds of play. Like, you show up at noon, you're there until 6 p.m., and there's been total an hour and a half of actual play. And that's my problem with football. This is why I like soccer better. Like, I don't really follow any sports, really. But on soccer, at least, it starts and it's non-stop movement. And it's a set amount of time. <laughs> it's not like we don't stop the clock when the ball goes out or anything. So, you know, it starts. You play. For 90 minutes plus added time, which at most is going to be 10 minutes total. So you've got, you know, an hour and a half, an hour, 40 minutes, and that's it. That's it. You know exactly how long a time commitment is going to be. Definitely no longer than two hours, including halftime. It's beautiful. That's all it is. That's all you need. Okay, anyway, <laughs> but back, back to the back to the cute game. But, but it's, like, expected that someone is going to be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Uh, okay. I should unplug his TV. Yeah, sir. It really seems like you haven't been doing Jack and the family or the business since your wife died. And your daughter is doing everything, and you all seem very hoity-toity about this shit. When I used to watch sports in person, it was guaranteed I'd cry because of the noise. Now I got earplugs. Oh, dang. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty cool record player. Your old room was, like, bigger? Messy. Really messy. Uh, I was a slob when I was a kid. I think you're just very depressed because you just work and sleep. <laughs> Guess the boxes take care of that problem. Nah, mom yelled it out of me. Moms, am I right? You are right. So I've got a question. Mm -hmm. What exactly does your dad do? Yeah. Yeah, what exactly does your dad do at the store? 
These days, not much. Uh, some ad uh, some administrative stuff. He hires the repair guys. He sometimes goes out on jobs. That's kind of his whole area, but that's about it. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and working there every day too. Yep. Just think you shouldn't. Okay. I don't think either of these are a tactful thing to say, May. Where's the third options? Where's option C? Selling yourself out seems bad. Both of these are like, like, you know, cause like I would probably just quit. And it's like, oh, just like you quit college because you take everything not seriously and it's not a matter of survival for you. And this is just like, you know, putting the blame on her for a situation that is very obviously something that is like slowly crept up and like, you know, she wants to help her dad. <laughs> I think this is probably the least horrible of the two. But, come on. Or, like, take over the store. Like, you're not doing anything about it, just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? No. Yeah. Take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. What? What? You heard me. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek, repair guy at the shop? No? You've seen him. Talks a lot. Worked for us since forever. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no. And then told me not to be alone with him. What the? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people, and even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything, and Creek's got a family, and he needs the work. I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling. I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook, off the hook... Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're, like, badass and shit. Y you... Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You're such a shithead, you know that? What the hell? Oh, uh, what the hell? A lot of time, folks can just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times, people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. These, this is literally the same. I mean, I'm going to pick this one because it's like the more stereotypically preachy one. And I feel like this is definitely, you know, I want to be a little rough on, on May right now. Says the child woman with no job, no rent, no responsibilities, and no consequences for your stupid actions. I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time? Oh, but good dinner, May. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful? That is not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? I don't know anymore. Like Greg is probably off doing good knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry, but you don't get it. I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you did those days. I'd worked a good six hours before you even woke up properly and came home each night after you and I were done to pay bills and figure out how we're making next payroll while Dad slept on the couch. This isn't fun. I should go. You should go. Am I gonna start a shit, some shit with dad? Wonderful chicken, yes sir. Yeah, he's fallen asleep. Yep. Yep. Damn, fight? How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I am garbage. You kind of are. 
You walked into that conversation with zero understanding of circumstances and started being all preachy when you don't have anything going, like, you know, you can't be moralizing to people from a position of, of hypothetical, like, you know, on a, from a hypothetical high horse. You can't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna talk to dad. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. No, you've not. You've not had a long day. You jumped on a couple roofs, looked at stars, and hung out with B and had dinner. That's not a long day. <laughs> I was socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long, and you're not usually lurking at the Ham Panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. Any idea what was up with Mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Oh, well. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh, no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. Is only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. So how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Say, Garbo? Yeah, Malloy? Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old knives, those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. That's a whopper. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are, around the midsection. That's a whopper. So funny. The double chin emoticon. That's just how I do smiley faces. I think I started it because it's company policy to everybody. Sh Let me finish this. Ah, oh, never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? Uh, what you call body shameless. Wow. Borderline inappropriate. Gar Garbo and I go to counseling. Yeah. Darn right. I started doing it because there's like some services and stuff that if you just do like a regular semicolon and one parentheses it'll automatically do the emoticon for a smile and i didn't want that so i started doing the two little smileys and that's become just a little a little signature now anything going on here nothing going on here i still have the combination for this this place written down which presumably tomorrow morning in in game time it's going to be i'm not gonna play the guitar man i've already embarrassed myself twice today Hey, kid. Hey, yo. What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Oh, why? No reason. Just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh, no. About what? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. Yeah, I think you kind of are, man. <laughs> you and me both. The asshole twins. Fuck. Fuck what? Now you got me worried. What's going on? We can get matching jackets with back <laughs> with that on the back. Just get, like, you know those, like, booty shorts with stuff written across the bottom of it? Like, like, juicy? Just write asshole and a little arrow pointing to them. <laughs> no. We can get matching jackets with, back on, with that on the back. Varsity jackets. It turns into an emoji. Yeah, exactly. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. Yeah, see? So, like, that's why I like doing the, the, the little double chin. All right, dude, I'm cashing out for the day. See you, duder. All right, B. Hey, B, you there? Yep. I don't really know how to screw that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. Gonna sleep. See you later. Okay. Because butts can be creepy. I'm sorry, butts can be wonderful. You will take that back. Good night. Time for another wild ass 
uh, Dream. Have you done Demon Tower? I've not done all of it. Uh, that's... Oh. It's heckin' windy. Oops, something going on up here. Am I on a train? Oh, yeah, I am on a train. Is there anything going on past here? Oh, yeah, there is. There we go. Little violin. Astral train. Speaking of trains, uh, you should watch Infinity Train, the TV show. It's actually, it's very sad. It's such a good show. But I think it got, like, like... It got, like, there was that one merger between, like, Discovery and HBO or, like, something like that. Where a bunch of cartoons just got axed. Because Discovery bought HBO and Discovery didn't want to, like, keep... I don't know. Me when I like streaming services. Um. What is going on, Mr. Train? All right, off this way. Oh. Ah. Okay. Got it. It just kind of spooked me. Honestly, at this point, I think maybe the only way you can see Infinity Train, don't quote me on this, but the literal only way you might be able to see it might be piracy because of this stupid merger. So I think if your only option is piracy, it's probably okay to pirate. You heard it here first. Twitch, don't ban me. Uh, is there anything going on here? Oh, well, I guess I turned, it, turned this on. Ooh! That train went right through me. Ah, uh, there we go. Condoning criminal activities now. That's me. Where's the next place? Up oh, bottom right, I see it. Up, oh, it was up there though. Right? Yep, upright. Let's go. The music is kind of popping off. Ah, that kind of spooked me. It's like you just you just can't see ship, man. Okay, I'm just gonna go up this way and then go across the other way. Screw you. I'm going up into freaking space, man. Up. Up and away. Perhaps it's... Oh! There's someone sitting here. With a pipe. Because... Perhaps a storm because May is stressed about the fight. I see it. I believe it. But also, May has some absolutely banger dreams. Like so, so fun, so lyrical, so musical. Where is the next one? Also, can I jump off? I might regret having done that. Oh, cook me, cook me. Okay, where? It's up, directly up here? Okay, my bad. Yeah, still upright, it says. That seems odd. Well, back up here we go. I'm just going to do this. Sorry. There we go. But I'm going to stay here. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, I think that is right. There we go. Hello. I had a dream. Stress. 
the other night. I don't remember a lot of it, but the characters from the podcast I listened to it was extremely colorful. Extremely colorful. I see, I don't have very... I have very... I don't remember my dreams pretty much ever, but when I do, they're always very wild. I've had this recurring dream. It happens pretty much exactly once every year where my family and I are super spies. We're like like one of, like us you would see in like a Disney Channel movie where the whole family are spies and we're infiltrating this gym corporation. That's all like a massive skyscraper that's all gyms. Uh and they are trying to build so tall they pop out the sun. And they want to be the, like, so they kill solar energy and they only power machines through, like, dudes exercising uh, in the machines in the gym. Hooked up to, like, generators. And I've had that dream, like, once a year for the past four years. And every year it's a little different. Like, the, the bad guys learn from the past year, so I, we have to reinvent. Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. Oh, Halloween. Away message. Annual harvest plate tonight of the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted story of Possum Springs. Damn. She got the hustle going on in the freaking chat. On freaking AOL, she's got the hustle. Oh, photo message. I used to have a recurrent name. We were in a grayish white room. There are arcades. One of them, Hello Kitty. My mom is cooking at an arcade and I talk to her and they go into a dark black tunnel, which is extremely slippery, and I fall and I get trapped in there. That doesn't sound fun. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I've never really had recurring nightmares. I've never really had many nightmares, period. I am a very, I would say, happy person in general. <laughs> Definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. Regular bit wider. Granddad says that I was sturdy. Screw it, I am sturdy. Yeah, like a mighty oak. Is this done? It is done! Hey yo, alright. Oh! I just went straight in, huh? Oh, is this where the safe is? Oh wait, haha, I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100. Oh, I didn't have to... I didn't have to write it down. Thanks, Granddad. Uh, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Um, mysterious tooth. Uh, do you think it's, uh... Do you think it... I was gonna say, I, it's from the same person that arm came from. But it seems like Granddad's been dead a while. I'd be kind of shocked if he managed to keep an arm fresh that long. Hey, Trash Bird. That's how I talk to my cat. I I wake up every morning I'm like, hey, Piss Monster. Piss Goblin, actually, is what I call her. Hey, Mom. Mm-hmm. Um, you okay? Yeah, are you okay? Sure, honey. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Yeah, okay. So, what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Uh, never mind. No, I- Okay, but, like, also, I feel like if there's anyone you owe an explanation to, it's the parents that have been scrimping and saving to pay the monstrous college tuitions y'all have in the US. You know what's crazy? This is another point of comparison I'm gonna do right now. I was looking, I went to a public university, right? A public university here in the US, but I'm not from the US. So I had to pay sort of what you have to pay public university, which was several and several thousand dollars. Like each, each quarter was a few thousand dollars. Good few thousand. Thankfully, my family's able to afford it, but you know, really quite expensive and typically you would have to take out loans that you have to pay for the rest of your life. I was looking at a public university back home 
And I'm not positive if that's the price for one year or for the entire tuition. It was 400 euros for the entire college grade, for like the entire thing, I'm pretty sure. 400 euros for everything. Because it's like, it, you know, I'm sorry, I'm going to say the S word. Socialism is pretty good, guys. Turns out socialism is pretty good. Hmm. No, the FBI man listening to the stream is going to absolutely end my shit. But turns out when everyone pays a little bit, most people don't have to pay very much. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, Mom, where is this coming from? You know you're the first Baraska to go to college. I was going to say you're the fuckwad that left college, but no. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Uh, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe I've had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here. Because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. Wow. You're really... Yeah, you're, you're batting two for two with this shit, huh? With B and your mom. What's up, guys? Nothing? Alright, good talk. Good talk. Great stuff, lads. Keep at it. May going at it. I feel like... This game is well made because everyone is a bit of a monster. Like, everyone wants to be a good person, everyone wants to be nice, but actually everyone's a bit of a monster. May the first of them, you know? Yeah, very realistic. Everyone just has these moments when they just snap when they just like take something out on someone that they shouldn't where they don't like you know close their eyes and count to 10 as per uh as as per the doctor's instructions count to 10 take a deep breath take a talk talk a nice walk you know that kind of stuff selmers well decorations girl you can't mess around on halloween Jeez, want to hear a new poem yeah Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved. Pizza I saved. Though pizza cold, this breakfast gold. That's so true. It really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You gonna harvest? Nah, I'm staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harvest is done. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Huh. You kind of act it, you know? Don't touch my pumpkin. I will not. Uh, how do you, do you think this guy threatens uh, trick-or-treaters with like a gunshot to the head or something? Feels like he might. Feels like he might do that. Oh. It's a cold as breakfast gold, and I live by that. And I live by that. Can't wait for the day I snap and either lose a friend or put someone in the hospital. Please don't. I don't know. It might be... Let's, let's look at this. This is where the harvest thing is. Yeah. Town center. That's here. 
Well, let's start the day off right. By stealing us a frickin' pretzel. But some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Yes, they would. I'm so good with it. This is unfairly easy now. Try the church today. Yeah, 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 I'll go everywhere. Don't you worry. This is just the first thing that shows up when you walk into the scene. So this is where I go. I go is where I go. Hello. Where is everybody? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. This is some poor, like, kidnapped person trying to get me to save him. What's going on? Is this lady okay? You going to Harfest? Nah, I gotta watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my favorite highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Ever seen the game live? Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest, you never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go smelters! Go smelters! Oh my god, I'm... You are a saint. Also, that's a little odd. I'm behind his cap. That's a little... That's a little fucked up. Hey, hello. <laughs> I'm behind his hat. Am I behind your hat too? Nope, just his. Huh. Well, what's what's that about? <laughs> also, is this is this a reset up here? I need to go check. I'm gonna do it first try. Yeah, first try, baby. Yeah, this is open still. Okay, so I'm gonna go find the other one and open it up. What? Any more contemplations about the arm? Also, what the fuck was up with the arm? Like, we found the arm and then what? Nothing's happened since. It feels- it felt like the game was going to be about that, and I guess it's not, huh? That- that's very much like this game, to throw an arm in and then not have it be the thing. Hey man, how's things? Good, Harfest Rush? No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done do it horrid. Getting horrid at work is the worst. When is this place busy? Morning is bad. Lunch is kind of bad. After I leave is bad. Christine, the owner, comes in then. I don't think I've ever seen Christine. I try to be out the door before she's clocked in. Nice. Anyway, you're here now and I'm here now. And it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs. All by myself. So what's up? I'm very interested in this... Light bulb smashing. This is not a hangout. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Do that. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Boom. Ha ha ha. Hell yeah. I got combos. Dude. Dude. Bam! Where's your aim at, bro? Oh, jeez. The fuck was that for, man? Ba blam! I got good coordination, man. I know I don't look it, but jeez, man. My ass plays Dark Souls and Hollow Knight, man. I got this shit on lock. I did the math on how much these things cost. Why are you smashing them? Sixty-seven cents. Oh, not that much. Oh fuck, Hollow Knight. I'm such a, such a what? Ah, oh, what the f? One of these days, I'm gonna hit the bottle too. Sixty-seven cents. I can't. See it. The chat is censoring. Also, why are you doing this? 
Like, doesn't Christine want this? Tell her some weirdo stole them? Oh my god, dude. Uh, I'm out of bulbs. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna beat you up. Oh, huh. P-U-S-S-Y. Ah. Hollow Knight's not spooky. Greg Rule is okay. Yeah. So what's up? Nothing. Alright. Nice talking to you, dude. Hollow Knight's not spooky. It's just hard. <laughs> I've already played through most of it, so I don't know if I would play it on stream. I need to wait a while and kind of forget it and go go through it fresh. But I, you know, who knows? I might. Happy Halloween! Uh, hey, you too! You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spooky face. Oh. Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh, Nice effort, though. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that. Thank you for that, Angus. I need to go talk to B and mega apologize. But I'm gonna hit up everywhere else first. Oh, hey, you're down here. You have for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get a pizza, too. All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online? Ruining my life? I think hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Yep. See ya. Later. Rip. Oh, because I'm killer. I get it. I'm killer. Oh, everything is so great in Harfesty, which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. This is when I head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Taking the Harfesty air. Well, I got home when I do. Yeah. I, was, I thought it was going to send me home. I was so worried. Oh. Yep. So true. Oh, Aunt Mall Cop, what's up? Hey, Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Locking off the road? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You kill them? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. That ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. This is the hit record. We always had the hit record at Harfest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine, then. I'll send all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Uh-huh. Gun? You should talk to Aunt Malkov about that. You got any more for me? No, you're done. You're over. You're cooked. Alright. Let's head to church first. We're gonna finish off this day. Uh, and we're gonna... We're gonna call it there. Let's go in the church. Let's see what's going on. I kind of want to talk to the uh, minister. Pastor? I don't know. Whatever it is. I don't know what, what if there's a difference. Mom won't talk to you, right? Well, we did have a bit of a tiff today, didn't we? Which, to be fair, like, yeah, mom was horribly, like, like, I don't know exactly what to call it. Definitely passive-aggressive as hell about it, or maybe just directly aggressive. I'm busy. Yeah. Yeah, mom was not, didn't approach it super well, but she makes a valid point. You know, I did go off to college and then just decide to come back kind of out of nowhere. And of course, it is my prerogative and, you know, I, I shouldn't do something I am not forced to. Oh. Breathe some air. Breathe some fire already, dude. Yeah. Hello. But, you know, yeah, exactly. There's there's something to be said about... 
sticking through it, I guess. I don't know exactly why she left. Maybe it was something like traumatic and she really needed out. That makes, you know. We will see. Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A uh, date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, me heading out, and then not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint Rubello? Yeah, the fire breathing guy who like ate people. That's a bit of an oversimplification, but it's, but it's true. Cool guy to have a statue of outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here, but can we learn something from San Rubello? Breathe fire, eat people. Sure. This statue is part of our encourage criminal acts outreach. It's working. Thanks, lady. Hello. You gonna go down to Harfest tonight? Dunno, maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll see, I suppose. I suppose. What's out this way? Water tower, my beloved. Oh. Hey. Hello. Hey. Traveler from distant lands, you have journeyed far, and it has brought you here, to us. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home, we will tell you, we will tell of your future, but first, let me take a selfie. Be truthful. Tell us, which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow? Broken? Broken, really? I, um, hmm, you're all like 14-year-old goths, why am I answering this? The ghost, the shipwreck, the broken arrow. Now, I'm thinking, have I seen any of these? I've seen- I've seen the shipwreck? What? Is it one of the dream things? Oh! Oh! I guess that is a shipwreck. On my way into town, yeah. In the playground, this old ship. How did you- You have answered well. We will peer into your future. And give you what help we can in the coming dark. What, daylight savings index? Alright, go for it. Yeah, 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 play into it. Tell us first. What is God? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> I keep I keep snubbing this dude's lines. I'm so sorry. In this place. Wow, uh. Is it caring but absent? Uncaring but distant? Vicious and roaming? Can we go with nice and helpful? Okay, fine. God is caring and absent, uncaring and distant, vicious and roaming. Well, there are these little creatures I keep dreaming about and they seem pretty vicious and roaming. What is caring and, I'm gonna go turn on the light in my room real quick. Because it's getting dark. And I don't want to strain my eyes. I don't know. I mean, I've never been religious. So, if you ask me, God is not there. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure this is what these guys want. I mean, I guess absent. Uncaring and distant. Vicious and roaming. I think caring and absent, uh, makes sense. And that also kind of feels like what my parents are, a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that one. True enough. She works still, and hopes it will return. She? She who? We see something in your future. We know. We know. We know. 
Okay, already, jeez. If the sky is empty, is it enough to be a good watcher? That's more a question than a fortune, guys. Let's try something easier. What am I going to have for dinner tonight? Don't know, don't care. I want tacos. We'll have them soon. We'll all have tacos soon. Well, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get going. Stop. Do you see the mystical symbol etched upon this sacred rock? I see 69. Hell yeah. The pentagram you guys drew? The pentagram? Where the hell is there a pentagram? The spooky pentagram? Uh, I guess it's where I cannot see it. The pentagram you guys drew? Yes, good. Okay. It is the first of three. Find it thrice. Where the hell is the pentagram? I don't think it's actually here. And it shall find you. In the dark. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna head out. You guys are adorable. And weird. But the fun kind of weird. This is serious. Like, we're not kidding. We don't care or anything. But, like, dude. Alright, alright. I'll keep an eye out for pentagrams and whatnot. Cool. Uh, you broke your speaking order. Um, no. We're just going backwards now. Are you freaking out yet? See ya, weird goth teens. You're not gonna narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. Three weird teens I met. Too true. Hey, you know about these weird tins? Is that why you're out here now instead of at the cliff? Because those teens kind of are got some heinous vibes over there. Hello. It's pretty out here. Ah. Uh. It is starting to get properly summery hot around here. I don't like it. There it is. This, I want to open it. Time to feed the rats. I'm surprised they don't come in here for like harvest and stuff, you know? Fetch some stuff. Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Is there four of you now? One, two, whoa, three. Next. Four. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street? As we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. Okay. That's, that's fun. That's fun and all. Well, once again, yeah. That weird. Okay. Uh, I like the little drawings on this. It's kind of fun. Nuke Possum Springs. Oh, there's another fan up there. How do I get up there? Is this... Oh, God. I think I see how. Jesus, that's not going to be easy, is it? I need to land on this, and then there we go. Well. I wonder what- I wonder as well. It's rare to find something you don't know about. 
Or do do you know and you're just kind of like like teasing? I'm gonna go see what's going on with the. Oh, you no, it's yeah. What's up, B? Oh, right. There's no B. You haven't a hundred percent of the game. You you speak like you speak with a lot of authority on this. I trust you on matters of uh, night in the woods. I'm not a liar. I'm being serious. No, I know. I know. I I believe you. Don't worry. 100% in games is hard. Hello? All I do is walk on that dude's porch and I swear he's actually okay with it. Did you ever do it when you were a kid? When I was walking down the street, I would like race the cars. You should play one shot sometime. I've got it on like... I think I have it on Steam. Actually, no, I've got it on my wish list. I don't I don't have it. I've never bought it. I'm interested in it vaguely. I don't think I raced the cars. That's fair. Nothing. Okay. Are we getting ready? Is that mirror? Mirror is getting ready. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Oh, sweet witch dagger. Let's chat. Let's get spooky. Nothing. The hell? The hell? Just, just, oh, I can't, I can't jump. My witch dagger form can't jump. I'm so weak in this form. Do demon towers sometime. Uh, yeah. Hello? Hmm, they must already be out. Harfest. No more hands. Wait, don't joke about that. Arms fall off around this town. That's no joking matter. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of peeps with no arms. Harfest. Yeah. Harfest. Now, we're kind of filling this out. Everything feels bad. Blah, blah, dumb shit. Yep. Yeah, you cannot jump. Oh, they're out here. Good on you for coming out. She seemed a little depressed. Fortune? Tell me my fortune. Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel, save that it's an unfamiliable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it gonna say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. That was very weak. Out of six though. Is your arm injured? It's a little sore lately actually. I could tell, I see all. Your fortune, your future, your, your, you fortune is your future. What? A place you will soon be forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. Some things you shall understand. Some things that shall elude you. And this shall ever be your fate. So some things I'm gonna understand and what? That's a dumb fortune. That's everyone. Everyone's like that. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth. You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. That's a Hunger Games reference. You said talk to someone on the steps? I, I can't. I can't. I literally, I can't go up. I can't jump. I would if I could. But I can't jump. Splash him? Yeah, let's splash him. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it. 
Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to Harvest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do. Or I can figure out pretty quick. Alright, let's go. Woo, you hit the spooky ghost. I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit. Gonna haunt you for that. Oh no, I'm dead again. Oh no, you've hit the evil witch. Oh yeah. Which will will I go next? Uh, I think I'm pretty... I... Yeah. Ah, uh, yep. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of good with it. I'm kind of goaded with it. Oops, I'm the pumpkin. You hit me, the pumpkin. Yes, I did. You got me, the pumpkin. What? Is this B? No, wait. That's not B. B has black eyes. Clankety clack, you hit my bones. Darn right I did. What? Come back. Get back here. You're not an intellectual. You're a fake and a fraud. Plonkety bang, my poor bony body. Whoa. Oh, that's it? Well, that sure was something. We have the Possum Springs Town Council. We urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs? More li Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs. Okay, we're done. That's what it said when we were coming into town. Oh, the big thing. Woo! This is so cute. Oh, I can go in. Oh, okay, so they've got stuff going. Can I walk beyond? Plus Ultra? I cannot. Okay. Uh, let's go in, I guess. We've done two of these things. I'm gonna do a quick walk. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, no, I don't think I am. Let's go. Hey, hey. What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harvest pageant. All right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, 10 minutes, I think. You think? Uh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B? Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah. I'll totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now? It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal but gets anyway. You got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? 
Through the mists of time I see, weary four trappers from 1793. Brother John, yes, Brother Stephen, from this vantage point I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with a witch a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O excellent brother. O oh, traveler, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. Yeah, this, this, yeah. Haggard witch! Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men, ye did not even offer one of the th one of the th three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art rude and naughty boy, I shall curse ye and thee, and this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Yee hee hee hee. I was born among these trees, near the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beetle pounds. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Do you like my theater voice? Do you like me going going all out? My voice is actually a little parched, Brother Steven. Not extravagant enough. Man, I'm doing my best out here. I've been talking nonstop for two and a half hours. Help! Help! Who will help a poor traveler? Uh, um... Uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone, did curse my brother and I to die. Zwoons. We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree. My lights just flashed in my room. This is proper spooky now. And even now his body lieth upon the earth. Lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. Hee 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 hee. I... I did curse this spring? This sounds more theater-y. <laughs> no? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I did curse this spring. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. No? Wait, no, no, what? Is this it? I did curse this spring, right? <laughs> There's like a delay in the chat. Yeah, this is it, right? This, this one. I'm not moving. I did. Yeah, that's what I thought. You got me spooked now. That any man who drinketh from it shall perish. Ah, I am slain. I join thee now, brother Stephen. Damn, he committed. Wow. I am also undone, for I have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Ha 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 ha. Terrifying. Oh, this is the afterlife. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, oh, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that which know what she hath done? Doth she indeed? Uh, um, crap. Four. For each man is determined. For what is a ghost? <laughs> yeah, this seems the right one. 
For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each path may lead to places unknown. You, from the bus station. Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way. So, witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. I, what? Oh, God, how did you know? I, I, what? I mean, yeah, that is like her, the dreams that she has, right? How did you know? I mean, yeah. Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest god, thou hast no power here. Yeah, I mean, this makes me curious. But this is the right line. <laughs> Even now thy end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers. Shh, young witch. Even now the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Woo! Take care. Alright, take care. They said the thing. Yeah, roll credits. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience! And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. Ooh. B kind of got into it. B got into it. I thought I was just going to do a two-hour stream. This is creeping on three hours now. Jeez, thanks, guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner, and we're going to watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. Well, bye. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce Force. We're going to buffet out by Ham Panther. Kind of have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Night. This is garbage. This is garbage. Oh. What the... Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Yeah. Shit. Uh-oh. Out in the old food donkey? <sighs> Where the hell did he go? Shit. Hey, May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that? May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now. Oh. Okay. I was like, that. 
can go to the right, but it, I was like stuttering like that. I'm like, oh shit, what is going on? I cannot jump either. Your run has stopped a little farther than this. Uh oh. Oh, this is a dream. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. It'd be very weird for Aunt Aunt Mall Cop to just up and put me in the middle of a dark forest. Uh, my controller is going bananas. I don't know if you can feel that. It's like, yeah, let me drive you home. <laughs> Drops me in the pit to hell instead. Yeah, you heard it. <laughs> that wasn't even me putting up against the mic. That was me putting it on the table. <laughs> the controller was going crazy. The long fall. Morning. Well, a uh, brand new day has started. I'm going to say this is probably a good enough uh, stopping point. Let me check real quick uh, what's going on with Valerie and Eric and such. Uh, it's a little later than usual, but we can, yeah, we can, we can put a raid uh, together. Just us two go over there. You're gonna go directly, directly to sleep. Ah, that's okay then. If it's just gonna be me, I'm just gonna end the stream, and I'm gonna stop by there and say hi to them. Uh, so let me before I forget save and oh, no, no, I want to save and quit, please. Mm -hmm. Save and quit the title. There we go. Save and quit the title. Okay. Well, uh, it's been fun. It's been a longer episode than we expected, but I don't imagine anyone's going to be too upset about that. I'm going to be live again, possibly tomorrow. Uh, the girlfriend's out of town, so, you know, I don't typically stream every day because it would not be very kind to her uh, if I was sequestered away doing this every evening. But she's not in, so I can do tomorrow, I can do the weekend, I can do more stuff. So, I will see you then, possibly. Uh, until then, uh, follow everything, etc. And for all of you that are watching on YouTube, there's like a decent amount of people that make it to the end of these videos on YouTube. Well, thanks for watching, but you know, maybe you hop into the live stream sometime. I'd very, I know we'd all welcome you here. Uh, and bye-bye. Uh,